Hi, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today in this lecture we will discuss the delta modulation and adaptive delta modulation. We will compare these two techniques of modulation but before this it's uh, better to understand what is delta modulation and what is adaptive delta modulation. So in delta modulation we transmit only one bit per sample. Here the present sample value is compared with the previous sample value and this result whether the amplitude has been increased or decreased is transmitted. Okay, So if the difference uh, is positive then the value of the approximated signal is increased by one step that is by the value of delta. But if the difference is negative then we will reduce the approximated signal by delta okay that is by one step so when the step size is reduced we transmit zero and uh, if the size of the step is increased then one is transmitted okay so at a time only uh, one binary bit is transmitted per sample but due to fixed step size there are some uh, disadvantages of uh, delta modulation uh, like uh, slope overload distortion, granular or idle noise. These are the two disadvantages of uh, delta modulation. But to overcome these uh, disadvantages that arises due to the fixed size of the step, we use uh, another technique of modulation which is known as the adaptive delta modulation ADM. In adaptive delta modulation, we do not use the fixed size of the step. The step size varies according to the signal variations. That is, it is adapted according to the variations in the signal. So step size is not fixed in adaptive delta modulation. So these two disadvantages of uh, delta modulation are not present in adaptive delta modulation. Now let's compare these uh, two techniques of modulation based on various parameters. Number one, the number of bits. The delta modulation uses only one bit for one sample as we have discussed but only one bit is used to encode one sample in adaptive delta modulation okay the second point is the transmission bandwidth in delta modulation the bandwidth required is very low in adaptive delta modulation also the requirement of bandwidth is low okay now let's discuss the levels and the step size as uh, I have discussed that the step size is kept constant or fixed and it is not varied while in adaptive delta modulation ad as the name suggests adaptive it is adaptive type of delta modulation so the step size is not fixed it varies as per the variations in the signal that is it is adapted that's why it is called adaptive delta modulation so because of this the disadvantages that we face in delta modulation are removed in adaptive delta modulation. The fourth point is quantization error and distortion. In adaptive delta modulation, we have slope overload distortion problem and granular noise problem. Okay, So these are the two disadvantages we have seen and I have discussed. But in adaptive delta modulation, only quantization noise is present. Quantization noise arises due to the process of quantization. Since in quantization, we approximate the signal. Okay, So some error is introduced that is called the quantization noise. Slope overload distortion is present when the, there are large uh, dynamic variations in the signal as compared to the step size. Okay, But uh, this uh, granular noise is present in delta modulation when the variations in the signal are very small in comparison to the step size constant step size okay the fifth point is the feedback the feedback exists in the transmitter if you will see the circuitry then you will see that uh, feedback is present in the transmitter of the delta modulation and yes this is also present in the adaptive delta modulation okay complexity on the basis of complexity the system is simple okay there is they are not very complex systems so delta modulation and adaptive delta modulation uses a simple system that is not very much complex okay so this is all about the
comparison of delta modulation and adaptive delta modulation in next videos we will uh, deal it uh, in details so keep watching engineering made easy friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video see you soon in the next video till then bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye